Hi, this is Linda with Traveling Flamingo. Are you about to be sailing on a celebrity cruise? Do you want to know what to expect in terms of the dress code? Well, we had our own fails and we want to help you so you will be prepared for your cruise. All that and more, coming right up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We just hit 15,000 subscribers. I remember starting with one view a day and mostly from our family. It means a lot that you take the time to watch, like, and subscribe. We love chatting with you about your thoughts and experiences with travel. So thank you again. And remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Let's get started with day wear. Depending on where you are sailing, you will want different clothes for during the day. If you're going to the Caribbean or a warmer climate, you'll want your swimsuits, cover-ups, and sandals to be hanging out by the pool. If you're heading indoors to the dining room for lunch or to participate in one of the activities, having some casual clothes like shorts, a t-shirt, sundresses work great. If traveling to Alaska, during the day you'll want to wear layers to stay warm, but also be ready for the rain. Pretty much the same casual clothes that are worn inside when exploring the ship. When packing, having the most space and organizing is key. As you guys know, we've partnered with Level 8 Cases and they are so good. My sister has taken my glitter carry-on bag. I'm calling you out in front of everybody. I love to travel and Level 8 Cases make it easy and give me more space to bring back all my souvenirs. Level 8 makes innovative, stylish, and affordable suitcases with awesome features like integrated chargers, laptop compartments, and a lifetime warranty. The other bag we have is the Voyager check-in bag, and my favorite feature is the wide handles on the edge of the case, so the entire thing is flat. I don't have to worry about the two pump bumps running down the middle when I'm packing my mugs. Overall, they're affordable, durable, with cool features and style. The next one I'm getting is the two-toned yellow and black case. It looks so fun. If you're in the market for a new suitcase, we highly suggest checking them out. Many of their cases are currently on sale, and as an added bonus, using our link, you'll get 10% discount on your purchase, so head over to Level 8 and check them out. Where we get the most questions is around what to wear in the evenings and the difference between smart casual and evening chic. Let's start with smart casual, as this is most of the evenings that you will be on your cruise ship. For women, you can wear things that include a dress, skirt, or jeans and a casual top. For men, you need to have long pants like jeans or khakis and a polo or casual shirt. This is where we made our mistake. Erin has some really nice shorts and those are not allowed. It doesn't matter how nice they are, it needs to be long pants. So be sure if you are men that you're packing a couple pairs of pants that you could be wearing a pair every evening. For the evening chic, this is what's replacing the formal nights. Depending on the length of your cruise, you'll have one or two evening chic nights. Celebrity Cruises is calling this a reboot of formal nights. It's meant to be less dressy than formal night, but you can still get dressed up. Women can wear cocktail dresses, skirt, jeans, or pants with an elegant top. Men can wear pants, jeans, dress shirt, button-down shirt, or sweater, and a jacket is optional. When we look at the difference between the two nights for women, it's really the difference between a casual or an elegant top, and for men the difference is a dress shirt, button down, or optional blazer. We did see a wide range on the evening chic night from when men wearing jeans and a polo to men in tuxedos. Some women also took this as an opportunity to bring out the ball gown. I appreciate not needing the large ball gown and for men not needing the full suit as it can take up a lot of space in suitcases. But it is important to know that t-shirts, swimsuits, bare feet, tank tops, baseball hats, and pool wear are not allowed in the main dining rooms. And at night, shorts and flip-flops are also not allowed. So if you're going to the MDR for lunch, you can wear your shorts and flip-flops, but not at night. <laughs> You're also asked to follow the evening dress code when attending the performances in the evening at the theater. So if you don't like dressing up or putting on long pants, there are other options. The buffet does allow for shorts all the time and has some great food. This is a nice casual choice if you're 
interested in it, or you don't have time after a busy day exploring to go back and get dressed up. If you're looking for some lighter snacks, you can head to the Cafe Abacho and the Gelateria. They have some stuff there. It's more like case, cakes and pastries, but it's a nice little treat. When it comes to specialty restaurants, they're going to follow the dress code for that evening. So, but many people do take this as an opportunity to make it a bit of a special night and get a little dressed up, but you don't have to. As a side note, we do recommend making the reservations for your specialty dining ahead of time as they do book up, especially the steakhouse. So overall, I was very comfortable with the dress code on Celebrity Cruises. The, the day wear was very comfortable and for the evenings, I was able to wear a sundress. It was also nice that Aaron didn't need to pack the full suit, but next time would pack a couple more pairs of jeans so he could wear those in the evening instead of wearing his formal pants every night. <laughs> So we hope that you found those tips helpful. Where are you sailing on your Celebrity Cruise? Do you have a favorite cruise line? What are your thoughts on the dress code in general? So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it and happy travels.